This topic is creative photography using digital techniques. Good evening, <coughs> distinguished guest, fellow participant, the photographing people of Calcutta, my students, friends, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to be with you today on a very special day known as Shivratri to the Bengali and Hindu people on the occasion of my talk show in connection with the Kolkata International Photo Festival presented by Maya Art Press and National Geographic Travelers India at this non-known gallery. I feel proud and honored being invited to give a talk on creative photography. <clears throat> I welcome you all and I also express my sincere gratitude to the authorities of KIPF for inviting me to deliver a talk on creative photography. I am also thankful to Modushan Dasen especially for his untiring and fabulous Herculean tasks she shoulder in connection with this festival and particularly for his effort and success that we are observing in the last few days. Thank Mudijanda. To read these few words, I'd like to say my lecture is on field photography using digital technique. I have structured my lecture into three phases. First, I will discuss some of the terminologies and <clears throat> definitions, etc. Then I go for the old method of creative photography. Then I come to the newer techniques using digital technology. And then I will make a sum up and also some ethics and other things. And after that, you may ask any questions you like. Okay? So let us begin with the first slide. Elements in the picture space in an aesthetically pleasing manner. Creative techniques aims to show how many familiar subjects can be transformed by a fresh, imaginative approach to a new look. New way of looking an image by innovative and intuitive mind through manipulation and techniques. That is mainly we are concerned about the creative photography where we will have our innovative and intuitive mind and they will use the photographic techniques to manipulate that is there originally in the mundane nature to convert to a new look. Next slide. Creativity is a phenomenon whereby something new and valuable is created. Unless it is new and valuable, it cannot be considered as a creativity. It is also defined as a process of producing something original and worthwhile that is characterized by originality and <coughs> expressiveness and imagination. These three terms, originality, expressiveness and imagination, this should be characterized in this form of creativity. But for creativity, this is our essential part. Next slide. Now, I personally define creativity as an acronym. I have a bad habit to create acronym. So, I think that it is creator's representation of emotional, aesthetic, transcendental, intellectual, visualization, innovation, vertically transformed to a yam, that is yami. So, Data's representation of emotional, aesthetic, transcendental, intellectual, visualization, innovative, really <coughs> transformed to a yam. That what I consider as the acronym for creativity. Next slide, please. Now, what is creative photography? Creative photography may be concerned with art. As you know, the particular branch of photography which deals with art or art for which Photography is the medium, it's called pictorial photography, where artists 
creative thought of realization is the prime consideration. Experimental photography or special effect photography also included under this. Next. What is art? The very, very meaning of art, as you know, is skill or device. But we know that the term has acquired a deeper meaning. We consider art as a creative process. It originates in a sensitive human soul which cannot help communicating to others what it has seen, heard and felt. Whenever we see anything on the road, say for example an accident, there is a tendency that we will communicate to our friend that there has been an accident or something else. Unless we share our observations to others, we cannot stop. It is our natural tendency. So what we have seen, what we have heard, what we have felt, there is a tendency to communicate with others. Art is a process of recreation, distinguished from reproduction. You see, reproduction is true to copy or just what it is there. But in recreation, you are injecting something new, not as it is. Next. So if you consider the definition as given by Aristotle, art is the idealized form of the artist. It means that art should not be as it is in the nature, but it should be that how the artist sees it, knows it or thinks it. It should be modified form of nature being the configuration of artist's mind. So what is there in nature, we are not representing them in Tokto. Then it is not art, this nature is a reproduction. It is the idealist form of the artist, how artist looks it. That's, it will be the con con transformation made by the artist. It is the configuration of artist's mind. So that is as defined by Aristotle, so far the artist and so on. Now let us see next slide. What has been said by Rabindranath? Rabindranath said, art is Maya. It is very difficult for me to define what is Maya, you will have to realize. But the term was given by actually great Sankarajajya. He said, Maya is beyond explanation. We cannot explain. It is onijbachunyo, that is which cannot be explained with the help of words. Buleshashkarajavena. So that is the concept as given by Rabindranath. Next. But I define art again as the acronym of absolutely related thought. That is what everyone says if it is a chair, but if they say that it is the portrait of Vishwadosh, then it is merely a passport. But if somebody interprets in a different manner, then it may be considered an art. That is, every picture will be appreciated and evaluated or interpreted in different manner. If it is, so everybody says in the same language, then that will not be considered an art. That is, the th thought will be relative. So I define <coughs> art as the acronym of absolutely relative thought. Next. Now, what is the artist as a creator? Artist perception, emotion, conception, recreates his experience which gets transformed into an artist's expression. Artists actually select something from this Monday wall, and from there he eliminates what he considers the element and adds to it what he feels should be essential to complete me. That is when we look around, we are capturing snaps, but there are many things which are not very good for our picture, so we need to eliminate those things. But when we think that after eliminating those things, there is not complete meaning, so if we add something, say cloud or bar or some, something, whatever that may be, and if addition to those things makes the sense more meaningful, then we think that it is as complete, then if, when the job is complete, then subject acquires a new look, a new meaning, and last but not least, a beauty which has so long remained unnoticed, the commonplace become uncommon because it has taken up the hill. Next. What is photography art? 
actually the photography guard I, dis- I have already discussed that is the particular branch of photography deals with art but this is the youngest branches of visual art and it is about 200 years old compared to 32,000 years of painting but within a small span of time it has become one of the most powerful and popular medium of expressing thoughts and imagination that's why Pablo Picasso, while seeing an exhibition of photo art, told photography has still lost. 21st century is for you. Next. Now again I'm coming to that picture of photography. I have already told that photography which uses art or art for religion. The pictorial has been chosen as synonym of art. So we will discuss all those things. Next. Again, I have made the acronym. What is pictorial? Photographers, intellectual, sorry, intentional, you can also like intellectual, creative, thought of realization in artistic line. So, photographers, intentional, creative, that is which he is creating himself, himself. That is the particular things. Unless it is being intentionally created, it cannot be uh, not accidental. It is an intentional creative thought of realization. In an artistic line, that is, it requires the definition of art which will fulfill the essence of a picture. Next. Picturalism means method of representations, which aims primarily at aesthetics, emotional and intellectual effect. Picturalism can be defined as a form of self-expression using the tools of photography with the object of creating images and enjoying both the process and the product. That will enjoy both the process and the product. It is the aesthetic, emotional and intellectual effect. Next. I'm going hurriedly because I have plenty of slides, so that's why I'm not going to explain. I'm going to explain all these things in details. Aesthetics is the word derived from the Greek aesthetikos, meaning aesthetics of sensitive or sentient. Aesthetics is the branch of philosophy dealing with the perception and sense of beauty. Then, question is, what is beauty? Next slide. Beauty is something, the quality that gives pleasure to the mind or senses and is associated with such properties as harmony of form or color, excellence of artistry, truthfulness and normality. It is actually the something which gives us pleasure. Unless it gives pleasure to us, we don't feel it is a piece of art. The main objective of art is to provide beauty to the audience, to the viewers, and also to the creator who is creating their particular job. Next slide, please. On beauty, there are plenty of definitions and comments by many ex- exponents. So, and I have referred a few of them. Everything that's beauty has, sorry, everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. It is given by Confucius. To love beauty is to see light, as stated by Victor Hugo. The love of beauty is test. The creation of beauty is art. That is Raphael Odo Emotion. Beauty is in the ideal of perfect harmony, which is in the universal being, through the perfect comprehension of the universal mind, stated by the Nath. And the very famous line which is known to you all that the thing of beauty is joy forever by John Keats. Next slide. Now, art as beauty, as according to Reynolds, art has beauty for its object. Most of the painters and photographers would agree that they are in pursuit of beauty even though they may not all appreciate equally an object as beauty, yet beauty is an inseparable aspect from art, as art cannot be avoided beauty. This is very important. Art 
cannot be avoid of beauty. Next slide. Next. Composition is the technique of arranging the element of the photographs in such a manner that they can make the picture a beauty. It is one of the most vital aspects in any form of art. I'm not going to discuss in details, so just you must remember that without composition, there's no meaning of art. In fact, it is the most important aspect in any form of art. <laughs> Next slide. Now I am coming to some of the historical and creative photographs. Next slide. There's, this is most of you have seen the prehistoric art 32,000 years ago in France. Look at Next. This is also in El Camino, Spain, 32,000 years ago. Because I have shown those because I compared photography, is, which is about 200 years, and art, which is about 3,200 years, 32,000 years. Now, this is the first picture. Actually, don't, at that time, it was not defined as or terminated as photography. At that time, it was called heliographic image. This is by Joseph Nisivan Ipsi in 1816, who is called the pioneer or one of the ma who made the synthesis of the pho photography, photo optics, and photochemistry to form the or to form the photographs. This is the starting point. But at that time, it was not a photograph; it was a heliograph in 1816. But the first photograph is the next one. Next one, next one, please. This is the first photograph. Is it is from the window from his residence in 1824. This is a photograph. This is an abstract form. Actually, you can consider this as a piece of art also. Next one. This is the very famous picture known to you all, which challenged the artist when the artist said that photography is a mechanical process. It cannot be considered as an art because photographers cannot join many things. What artists can do at their wings as a challenge to that, Oscar Gonzalez Lander, he made this particular photograph consisting of 32 negatives depicting vices and virtues of life. So this is the first composite photograph of the combination printing made as a challenge to the painter that photography can be considered as an art. In 1857, can you imagine? Next slide. This is also a photograph which challenged the artist a, by P. H. Robinson in 1858. Next. Next. This is also a very famous photograph. It seems to be like a painting, but it's a photograph taken in 1902. Next one. Now I'm <clears throat> coming to discuss the old technique of TV photography. Earlier, we used to apply various pre- and post-camera techniques for TV photography. The techniques were differential focusing system, blaring, panning, zooming in and out, movement, glass texture, straight, and many other improvised devices during taking short as per pre visualizations. That is, before doing or taking creating the photograph, we are thinking what we will do and we are applying some of the old techniques known to them at that time and accordingly they were creating those things. I will show some of the pictures later on. And then after when the photographs are already taken, then they can do it say, which is known as the post visualization that is considering the combination of two or more negatives, which is known as the combination printing, either montage or superimposition, or tone separation, or tonorama, or bustle or twist and tree, and many such other techniques, vacuum techniques, which was known to them at that time, but those are after taking the shots, that is, as part post visualization for TV photography. Next. I'm now just showing some of the famous creative photographs using the old techniques. I won't go through details uh, in a, I won't go through all these details. I'll go in details a little bit about the digital techniques which is our which is my main topics. So these are the, your next next next. This is a portrait. Expression is the main thing here. Post pre-visualization. 
Next. This is another portrait by Bindu Shen. Next. Here expression is the main thing. This is a Haiti portrait by Bindu Shen. Next. This is the evening glory. This is a very, really a creative one. Here evening glory is the depiction of religious mood where a Bengali woman offering her daily evening respect to the goddess for peace and tranquility for the family through evening glory, Sandha Pradeep. It not only symbolizes the cultural activity and spiritual outlook, but also convey serene and sublime beauty. Next. Next. This is also another beautiful creative photograph with pre-visualizations. Next. This is also a photograph, not any technique, but at the time of taking photographs, that was the main thing, how you do, it is controlling aperture and other things. Next. This is an IV. Next. Now I'm coming to some experimental, old experimental techniques. Next. This is a very surrealistic photograph of Belgium. It was exhibited in our 1998 Dumb International Salon. This is another surrealistic photograph. It's a creative photograph using old techniques. 1999, from Belgium. Next. This is called Fisher's Effect by Leopold Fisher, title is Storm. It was taken in 1960. It was exhibited in our Dhamnam Salon, Fort Dhamnam International Salon, long back. This is another very interesting subject, slow shutter speed, just showing the motions. 1921. This is again partial solarizations. Those who are practicing, you know, only upper part has not been utilized, lower part has been partially solarized. It was also in 1960. <coughs> Next. This is Fisher's effect. Fisher's effect is actually a combination of uh, Leopold Fisher's solarization technique with the one positive, negative, positive combined that gives this type of results. Next. This is known as best relief. Next. This is a relief, not, which is actually just aging type. Next. This is a tonorama technique developed by Venusian. This will actually tone separation using the technique of solarization. This is known as tonorama. It was done by him in 1972, this particular photograph. This is a creative photograph, of course. This is one of the famous old photographs. I don't remember the year. It was by great Man Ray, who is also one of the most vibrant exponent to establish photography as an art. Next. It is also by Man Ray. It is again a creative photograph by Man Ray, 1929. Now I am coming to another very famous legendary personality in the field of creative photography who is a dare to master as, and he always create composite photographs using enlarger only, mainly many of you have perhaps seen his work when it was exhibited in the USA consulate uh, a year for his solo exhibition. I have shown just to see how was the creative photograph in early those early days. This was taken in 1964 by Jerry Wisman. Another, another next one. This is also by Jerry Wisman, untitled. It was taken in 1997. Next. This is also by Jerry Wisman, untitled. This is also by Jerry Wisman. This is by Benu Shen. Tonorama, applying the tone separation technique on solarization, using solarization. Next. This is a color separation from black and white negative. 
done by Ben in 1982. Next. Now I'm showing some of my composite pictures. That's why I have not written my name. This is one of my old pictures, combination of a painting with a portrait. Next. This is also a combination painting, a street shot with a spirograph. Next one. This is also a portrait, combination painting, that star was added with the original negative. Next. This is also some technique applied to give some inner thought. Next. Now I am coming to my main today's discussion, the use of digital techniques. Next. What is the concept of digital technology? Come on, next slide. In brief, with the progress of Sorry, with the process of, sorry, TPHT, progress of photographic science and technology, computer technology, there has been a revolutionary change, as you know, in the concept and application of photography. Digital photography is the most recent development in the field of photography, changing the whole scenario and dimension of photography. Computer-aided photography or photograph taken with the help of digital camera and then making various types of manipulation with the help of software, producing fantastic and fascinating pictures are very common today. Pictures are stored as digital files, information of an image in binary data in a memory card of the camera, which is usually downloaded in the computer for prints. Actually, Digital image is nothing but a matrix of pixels having different gray value or gray level. Actually, when we consider an image, we consider what is what do you mean by digital? Firstly, digital is anything related to digit. What is digit? This is nothing but the numbers zero to nine. But we don't consider those all numbers zero to nine because actually digit means fingers. Earlier days we used to count numbers with our fingers, one, two, three, four, like that. But we use only two digits, zero and one, not all digits. That's why we consider binary digits. And the post mortuary word of binary is bit. And everything is related with bit. Our images are nothing but matrix pixel, a pixel matrix, and those pixels are some functional values, which are called gray values, and those gray values are dependent on the number of bits and the number of levels we are using. Usually for 8 bit we consider 0 to 255, that is 256 level, and that structured the image. And actually in digital technology we manipulate those pixel values by some computer programming. And that programming may be done by yourself, may be done through software available in the market and most of you usually used to do with the help of Photoshop. That I will explain in details later on. Here is the photography using software, what I am telling, that with the technological advancement and digital development of digital photography, nowadays most popular way to use a various software for creative purpose. What type of software I will use, that I will mention next slide. Next slide please. Next slide. We are mainly concerned with the application software for our TD purpose. Actually, there are two software. One is called system software, and this is called application software. We are using the application software. Most common software, those can be used for TD photography are CC, MATLAB, Photoshop, Posa, Maya, Desk CD, Carada, IC, PTV, etc. There are many, plenty of softwares which may be used for our TD purposes. But I have here discussed some of ideas about CC+, MATLAB, Photoshop, and Dash 3D, mostly. And there, is, there are many uh, software that I am not going to discuss. Next, please. Now, first I am coming to some example created by me with the help of C++. That is, the pictures we are drawing, the, except that I, I is taken with the help of camera, ordinary camera, but the other part was generated graphically, writing programs, 
with the help of C++ to create those face using red and yellow colors. Next, please. Next, next. This is another example where the regions are the actual photographs, but the dancing figures were created using the program C++. The title is Freedom. Here we have taken the help of Photoshop just to combine those elements. Next. Here again another example. Next. This is also created with the help of C++ and that particular uh, peg glass was the original photographs. Next. Here again, that particular dancing figure is created with the help of C++. Other is taken with the help of ordinary camera and then combined with Photoshop. Next. Now I'm coming with some example using MATLAB and Photoshop. This is one of the simplest examples. Most of you used to go to vintage car rally. There I took one photograph of a car and partly I write a small program of five, six lines to get the contour of a segmented part of that car and then I com combine. Actually, how that will be done, that is your intuition and your imagination. That, as I have told you earlier at the very beginning, because in creative photography, your idea, your intuitiveness, your imagination, your aesthetic values is the main import, important component. And then you can take the help of the software techniques. Next. Now I am coming to a very, very interesting and creative photograph as I presume. I don't know what is your feeling. Can anybody tell me what is this? Can anybody from the audience will tell me what is? Tiger. Tiger. Huh? Dragon. Sure. Okay, you can consider dragon. Dragon is fighting. So, how that dragon has been created? Can anybody imagine? Perhaps not. Can, they, can anybody? No. Next slide, please. Next slide. Actually, you see, this is the original photograph taken with the help of a camera. Next slide. And that photograph with the help of MATLAB, I converted into the contour drawing. Next slide. And then I reverse it and change the color. Next slide. Then change the color. Next slide. Then I reverse. Then combine. And then I add the red eye. Next. So you see, here is the question of your creativity. From where you start, you do not know, and from where you will end, you do not know. It is you to decide how you think, what is your imaginative uh, value or thinking power. Everything depends on your imagination. Instrument is nothing. Okay? It doesn't require very valuable camera. Next. This is also another example using MATLAB just to get those effect. This is just simply a photograph, an ordinary, most ordinary photograph of from the aquarium. Next one. This is also using MATLAB experiment just from the full portrait. Nothing else. Next. Here, upper portions is a MATLAB experiment and lower part is a still life taken with the help of ordinary camera just 5 megapixel camera and then combine just to give some idea. What idea that you can interpret yourself whether it's good or bad, it is entirely relative paper as I have told you. So it is you to decide whether you consider this as a creative photographs or not. Next one. Another one, partially using the MATLAB transformation in part and then combination with, uh, with the tree and that I. Next. This is the most simple uh, old wall and the door. Just using MATLAB technique, I have prepared this one. Next one. This is also a specific 
that figure is not actually there, that is simply a shadow. And I have just made exalted using particular color and outline is generated with the help of MATLAB programming. This is also a MATLAB technique. Again this one. Next. All these are created with the help of MATLAB and the flowers were taken and then used using the Photoshop combination right down. Now I am coming to the Photoshop which you used to do. Everyone is practicing Photoshop nowadays because nowadays without editing, because you are taking with the help of digital camera and unless you properly edit, you cannot get a good photograph. For example, if you have plenty of vegetables, unless you cook it properly, you cannot have a good, unless you have a good recipe, you cannot have tasted food. Similarly, unless you properly edit, you cannot have a good photograph. So for PhD photography, you must do it. It is a simply outdoor photograph, only a filter has been used to concentrate some part and to dilute the other portions. Next. This is also using Photoshop. A filter was used partially and a, this particular technique was applied to this particular effect. Next. This is again twist and twill. Next. This is one of the very interesting photographs created by me. Actually, as you are seeing, it is not the picture like that. What it is, you can see from the next slide. Show. The first one, actually, the original pictures. From there, I made a polar transformation to rectangular one. Polar to rectangular transformation. And after that, I made the color separation. And also, I took <coughs> the original pictures with reverse and then take a cut out of that. And then we combine. Ultimately, we get the result. So from there to here, where am I? Next. You can pass on, pass on, pass on, pass on, pass on, pass on, pass on. Now I am coming to a very, very interesting experimental and creative photograph by Minal Pal. He is here. He is one of my great students whom I consider most intellectuals and creative artist. His photographs is frustration, but how it was created will be unbelievable to you when you will see through the process. Next one. This is the original picture. Next. And now that picture was made contrast and fractal effect was given to produce this one. After that, line drawing were made from that particular picture. Next. Again, fractal effect was given and then outer glow was made and finally inverse was done to get the ultimate pictures. So, really fantastic. This is another picture. This has been last year awarded in the Ordlot International Salon, a very creative salon by Gautam Chatterjee of Haura. Please revisit it. It's a very complicated one, but it seems to be very fantastic. It's a surrealistic one. I'm not going to discuss all in detail, but you can see the flowchart of this picture in the next slide. Next slide, please. Next slide. So you see what tremendous effort was given to create this particular picture, the various stages of creation of that particular picture is revisited by Gautam Jairaji of Hara. Next. Now I am coming to another picture by Minal on the Vardai, one of our, my students, who is a very exponent in the digital technology. Uh, he has mastered the MTech from IIT in, on computer science from IIT Kanpur. He is our digital channel of the digital research unit of PAD. This mistake, this was awarded this time also in Ordlock of Polas Poland this year, uh, in this last salon. You see how it has been done. Next, next please. These are the flowchart 
the original photograph from there. That, that, that is a bit technologically difficult for many of you, that particularly the general stripping algorithm, which ultimately generated the second one. And from there, a reverse was taken. And after that, it was sandwiched. One and three were sandwiched to the luminescent blending. And then masking was done. And finally, the production was done. This is a bit complicated. But this is a, what I mean to say. That this is a very important digital technique to create a very creative photography from ordinary photographs. Next slide. This is a very ordinary picture, but very combinations by Parthasarkar is also here. Along three combinations, so many from the original, there are plenty of components, so, so many components and cutouts ultimately made this final image. Next slide. Now I'm showing some of the others' effect with the help of Photoshop. This is done by me. Just bronze effect has been given. Next. This is very common examples. You can see that particular band entry in the outer guard, which I have made with some control and uh, sticker toning, etc., with the help of Photoshop. Nothing else. This is ordinary, ordinary, but the creative idea is there. Next. This is also the creative photograph. Next. Time is short. Next. Next. This is simply use of filter. This is use of filter. <coughs> this is a very famous sculpture by, uh, I do not remember right now the name. Uh, Niranjan Pradhan. Niranjan Pradhan, sorry, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ramuli. Niranjan Pradhan. Uh, and I have used that sculpture and replaced that uh, stone figure with the human figure. Okay, next. This is done by me. This is by again using Photoshop trans polar transformation because I have bad habit to convert uh, polar to rectangular and to create some surrealistic and some odd pictures. I'm a very odd person. Anyway, next. This is using some plugin, then fractal effect, ghost by me. Next one. This is also using fractal. Next one. Next one, you go on, just changing, please go on changing. Next. Now, can you, what a, a creative photographer should have? A creative photographer must have passion for photography. He must be a connoisseur of art. He must have aesthetic sense. He must be a lover of beauty. He must have creative mind. He must have innovative ideas. He must have knowledge of composition and color harmony, knowledge of Photoshop and technical perfection. Next. Next. How to, to achieve creativity? Creativity cannot be taught. Everyone has certain degree of natural instinct of artistic sense and creative ability within himself. One can only increase his ability by study of art literature, analysis of creative words, works, visiting exhibition of any visual media, discussing with others, practice of technology. Practice, practice, and practice can help to learn and master any subject. Next slide. Next slide. There are plenty of examples. You can go through a very quick, just pass on five seconds or three seconds, you can go on. Please, next, next, next. Go on, go on, go on. Quick. Quick. Next, next. Just show, just, just a visual treat.
quick, quick. This is using another technique known as dash. Quick, 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 quick. I'm sorry for hurrying because time is limited. Ethics is very important. Just stop, stop. Ethics is very important in connection with digital techniques because there are nowadays plenty of soft copies are available from net and you, one can generate using those things. But this is very bad. It should not be done. You must remember that when you create digital photographs or creative photographs in the of digital techniques, you must use your own component. Don't take anybody's anything, not even cloud, not even bar, nothing else. It should not be done by copying from others. You must remember that. Next. Now come to the conclusion. Photographic art today has entered into the creative world as a medium of self-expression. We delight at the aesthetics of photography, utilizing the elements of the mundane world, inspired by the beauties of nature. It should be remembered that whatever may be the medium of ultimate product is an art, provided man behind the product is an artist, who has sense of aesthetic visualization and ability to convey his own feeling in a new look. Next. According to Vedanto, everything is within our consciousness, but we have to explore it. There is no hard and fast rule to or technique to produce creative photography, nor there are guidelines and steps for such creativity, but it is fact for those who create someone, some of the most creative portals in the world, they have great passion for photography and art. In general, as well as creative mind, modern digital technology with various editing tools, particularly Photoshop, will go a long way to promote and propagate creative photography as a visual art, training other forms of artistic media. Next. We must remember that beauty is truth and truth is beauty. Shaktam, Sivam, Sindaram is the main philosophy of Indian art. Let us enjoy the beauties of this diverse nature through creative process as a form of visual art and sublimated to life. Let creative photography using digital technique as a form of visual art continue to bring pleasure, peace and tranquility to the sensitive soul of the viewers and prosperity and happiness to the society. Thank you all. Next slide. Next slide, next slide. I have taken help from many people while creating these particular presentations of them. Shati Bhattacharya of Government College of Art, Dr. Avanath Ganguly, President of the Nam Nam, Modishanda Sen, the, direct, the founding director of this KIF, Ashim Puddha, Vishwarup Ganguly, Minal Banerjee, Minal Pal, Gautam Chatterjee, Gautam Sen, Partho Sharati Sharkar, Partho Choudhury, Partho Sen, also some many pictures, also the various literature. Parents, faculties, and students of DRU and authorities of Kolkata International Photo Festival. Thank you all. I'm sorry that I have gone through hurriedly. Actually, this should have been one and a half hours lecture. So I have made injustice to you all. However, I have no other alternative. But I have tried to give you some sense of creative photography using digital techniques. And if you have any questions, if the authority is allowed to ask you questions, I can answer gladly. Thank you all. Lights on, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Shandipu, for this wonderful insight. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Nobody has questions. Perhaps I have not been able to go inside to you. Ache, big question. I'm sitting over here. Yeah. 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 What do you mean by abstraction of art? Abstraction means you show something, but we have to make it out from there itself. Yeah. Is this something it, like that? In in creative photographs, everywhere you will have to make make yourself. You will have to create. You will have to find the meaning from yourself, exactly. from your heart. Because you may have some meaning, other may have other meaning. As I told, it is absolutely related thought. That means. Uh, so it will be inside. The viewers, exactly. the creator will do something according to his own imaginations, right. own views, own realizations. But the viewers will look right. according to his imaginations, his socioeconomic conditions, right. his idea about and the concept about the art and anything. things. He may interpret in a totally different, different directions, right. no matter. Right. But whether it gives you pleasure or not, that is the most important thing. If it can give pleasure, yeah. then it is a success to the creator. Not otherwise, because main objective of any form of art or main objective of beauty is to provide pleasures to the audience or the viewers, not only to the theatre. Give pleasures to some, to some one, to some some person, but it might not give pleasure to other person. Yes, yes, it's quite different, quite different. Because suppose you may like black, other may like red, other may like white. There is a change of taste. Say you like. Yes, so the perception is also different. Yeah. Everything is different. Even not only that, we within you, you are you will be different at different moments. Right. After seeing an accident in a road, when you come for the judging, your reaction will something. And if you come after a very sweet memory, then when you sit in the chair of a ju judgment chair, then your views will be different. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, Okay, if there is no other questions, thank you all for giving me a patient hearing. Shabai Bhaladagun, Sarbe Sang Mangalam Vet, Sarbe Santu Nirama, Sarbe Bhadrani Pashantu, Ma Kushchit, Dukkhavavavavit. Namaskar.